And now back to here. There. It's happening. <laughs> wow. And we have two extra minutes just to get ready. I love being punctual. It confuses everyone because they say, wait a minute, you're a musician. I say, yeah, you said to be here three o'clock. Well, we were thinking you'd get here at four. Well, you should have told me to get here at four. <laughs> I always ask people, when does anyone arrive? Ah. And that's when I usually get there. Uh huh. I love being in the space ahead of time. Oh, yeah, yeah. It. You got to, like, you know, case the yeah. joint. It's like walking the track for a, a racer. Right. All right. I think everything is happening. I think this is all good. I'm going to check the. Uh, the other one, the YouTube thing. Oh, yeah, it's happening. Woo! -hoo. All right, full screen. Bada bing. Oh, ooh, I can't go full screen. Got to do that back because I got to get to this. There. Uh, there. Okay. Now it's 829. I'm going to get my guitar. <laughs> Get that, get that metal thing. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> wow, oh, this is in the wrong tuning, actually. <laughs> you got one minute, Dave. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Now, if I only knew what this tuning was, I think that's a C, and I think I think that goes that's to That's a C right there. There it is. We are found. Now, this, I think... telling you about sometimes with a new song I will have a, a little reminder of the feel or the tempo of another song that I know really well because I can remember like the tuning and the melody but not the sort of tempo I tend to start songs too fast so uh, so in my mind I'm singing Water of love, deep in the ground, but there ain't no water here to be found. But this song is about the second year of the pandemic. Because the first year I was just staying busy. And it was okay. Got a lot of songs written. But I felt I was missing something because it was a fantastic opportunity to face the quiet. And by the quiet, I mean like, if I'm not doing those gigs, then who am I? <laughs> so at one point I was out walking at night in the woods behind our house. There's a lot of woods up on the ridge. I shut off the flashlight. And at first you can't even take a step because you can't see the roots. But uh, well, your eyes adjust. And I was thinking there was going to be another kind of aperture that would open when I let myself face that, that quiet, that different kind of quiet of uh, 
not having a lot of stuff to do. Just try to um, see if I could still find my dignity without my, you know, it's the old, I should just let the song speak for itself. <laughs> I move through the trees just by moonlight. Switch off the torch and I trust Deep in the woods I wait for my eyes to adjust Finding my way to be winding See there's a new way to know Open my senses to show me the way to go Set down my distractions The smart screen's too bright I follow my heart Open my sight to the night Just need a trace of light I reside in the quiet and the stillness All that empty time to think Stare out into the blackness And I didn't blink The whispering trees somehow soothe me It's never as dark as it seems I come to my senses Led by the light of my dreams Switch off my distractions Smart screen's too bright I follow my heart Open my sight to the night Just need a trace of light See my dream before me And it shows me where to go Set down my distraction Smart screen's too bright I open my heart Open my sight to the night I just need a trace of light Thank you, Greg. I'm so glad that you're here, and I'm so glad that we can talk, even though we live a little ways away. And uh, I'm so glad that um, that when I'm traveling up the East Coast, I I always think of it at the last minute. I say, why don't I split the drive up? I'll just call Greg. We can hang out and play songs. <laughs> yeah, it's so, always fantastic. The first three letters of our town work out really well. We're both from Ash. You're a ville, I'm a land. Yeah. 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 What it's you feel always like always great when you come. Well, we, we talked earlier. I guess I'm going to give it away to the, the people. But we, we talked earlier about, um, and maybe people don't realize that we knew each other a long time ago. Oh, yeah. A long time ago when the earth was green. <laughs> uh, we, we, knew, uh, we knew each other, and... And so um, Dave knows the songs from the very beginning of my existence. And so um, when we get together, we always do something from the, the good old days, from the long, long, long ago. Yeah. So um, let's do Summer Song, Dave. And oh, Dave has nice. this miraculous uh, pearl device which will allow him to sing harmony at the same time, even though it's physically impossible. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, here we go.
days are growing longer There's a warm breeze coming on Something inside seems to come alive Singing a summer song Oh, La Maria Show me that soft, smooth skin It's a mystical ride on a warm, gusty night I hardly know where to begin Oh, oh, la, la, la La, 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 la La, 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 la La, la, la The sun is growing stronger We've got every reason to smile The child in me feels so frisky Stay for a while. Oh, 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 la 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 It's been so long since I've seen a day like today. It's been so Their winter day in her eyes Seasons are bound to be seasons You can only wave them goodbye La, la, la La, 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 la La, 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 la La, 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 wave them goodbye so weird to see you singing just slightly behind me (laughs) (laughs) yeah i mean i've sung with people like that but i know it's coming out right to the people yeah it is a fascinating thing and uh there uh i love the experiment when we check how much delay there is and it varies day to day you know with a zoom call but if you can get the tempo of the song right, it becomes like a fuguing tune, you know, where yeah. somebody sings right with you, but it comes in like about three quarters of a second later. <laughs> it's really that's usually fun. how my brain works, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, it's it's great for Gregorian chants, you know. As long as you have like one long sustained note, so that yeah. this is something that we've done yeah. with groups of people, you just take one long sustained note and let everybody else just settle in on their harmony note and just end the song like that. It, it works like that. I love that. I'm, sh- I'm sure this is working with, with the pearl there. Yeah, and uh, I think uh, if we could just relearn how to sing Happy Birthday so it was like very uh, pentatonic, you know. <laughs> <laughs> then everyone could just stay in their weird right know. it would all work somehow yeah. here's a, a song um, that is like a lot of my songs just trying to keep me sane and this is about uh, 
deciding that it's it's really okay if I sort of monitor how much uh, I am grieving about all that's tragic in the world. I mean, I know that it's important to like care and uh, I, but if I'm sunk, uh, I do no one any good. So um, uh, this is a, a, a little comical song to remind me. Maybe not first thing in the morning to watch, you know, the news on my phone. <laughs> I like a triple shot of morning tear Good for pumping up my heart rate The new conspiracies are very scary It's propaganda but it works great I'm pouring over with the horror story Under the hopper till my head's full Believe the evil ones are coming for me Makes me edgy like a Red Bull I like to go for the jolt I love the soon we'll all be dead thrill Go for the jolt The paranoia and the red Go for the jolt Worried enough to make the dread kill Ready to bolt I like to go for the jolt Falling victim to an algorithm Tracking my searches at a fast pace Disappeared into a wormhole prison Disinformation makes my heart race Watching everything they recommend What I believe is looking real clear I'm Pretty certain that the world has ended I love the rush of feeling fake fear I like to go for the jolt I love the soon we'll all be dead Thrill, I go for the jolt the Paranoia and the rest the jolt, worried enough to make the dread kill, ready to bolt, I like to go for the jolt, cause it's hard for me to feel alive. guitar, Dave, that you saw me play in 1980. <laughs> mm. This is my Martin. After the Gibson got stolen. Exactly. Yeah, that was quite the story. Oh, my goodness, broke my heart. Yeah. But it's just a thing. Ain't nothing but so, a thing. Ain't nothing but a thing. All right, well, here's a... Uh, Here's a, a song about uh, the road, about traveling. About uh, mm. It happened at 4 in the morning uh, on Interstate uh, 495 around Boston. And I was headed on my way home. As so many uh, singers are late at night, I like driving then because there's just nobody else on the road. Yeah. It's just me and the sky and the road and the stripes. And so this is what happened. sleeping I will not stop red lights on the black top in the wee hours of my day driving driving Yeah. 
and powerful and this mystic pursuit of uh, trying to find a way to take all our hope and wonder and uh, and somehow sort of make it clearer to us as if we want to hunger more for <laughs> what we're yearning for just to be able to notice it when we catch a glimpse uh, and uh, and I think it's so beautiful to have a pursuit that is so elusive because, you know, yeah. I mean, if we were just trying to do most things in the world, we would have figured it out. We've been after it for 30 <laughs> years. But, you know, it's amazing that we've been working at this for so long. And I'm thinking to myself, I wonder how you write a song. <laughs> <laughs> and I so love that that song has that drive to it. Obviously, it has to. But it, it feels to me like that was always my uh, sort of my musical quest was to, um, to have the autonomy of a solo, you know, one guitar kind of thing, very transportable, very cost effective. Um, because to me, you know, if you, if you have many guitars, then suddenly... You're traveling by land. You've got a big vehicle. You've got somebody who switches the guitars for you. Suddenly, you've got five hotel rooms every night, and you're paying 
thousands of dollars for diesel. So I think having one acoustic guitar, but somehow making that guitar speak the whole band, that's my pursuit. And that's your pursuit too. You just yeah. did it. And <laughs> you can feel that that is a rock and roll song. And, and yet the fascinating thing was many years ago, I came to hear you when you were doing a whole band. And to me, it had this weird thing about like, it was fuller, it sounded bigger, but the closeness that I wanted was the autonomy of the personal power thing. Right. And, right. Uh, and that's such a different, such a different, um, I mean, that, that, that's something that's of my time, that thing, because, you know, like in the 40s, people would learn to play trumpet. And you can't play a trumpet by yourself. And, you know, maybe if you're like way up on the on the top of a parking garage and you're playing for the street. But, you know, you put a trumpet in most people's face and they say, get out of here. Turn that thing off. <laughs> but I so loved the fact that when I was a street musician, I, I was able to make a living with strangers walking by. They'd never heard the music. And suddenly they feel something. To me, that was, that cut through all the bureaucracy and all the industry yeah. and all the, you know. And so when people yeah. would ask me about the music industry, I'd say, I know nothing about it. I'm not in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I, I totally agree with you. Um, you know, I mean, I say that I assiduously uh, avoid success because of, you know, the trial on your, on your moralities. But, um, but it, it is that. There's something, um, when I write songs, I think about performing them solo in front of a crowd of people. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and I, I want to communicate that in as many ways as I can you know, within the, with the energy that I have. Yeah. And, and I agree with you. I mean, I've played, and it, it's certainly something. I mean, um, when I first did um, A Road With Walking Down, a, a, a record which you... Uh, we're so gracious to sing and play on. Thank you very much for that. But um, when I did the, the CD release party of that, I had everybody, you know, the seven piece band on stage with me. And I have to say, certain songs, that is just an amazing feeling. Yeah. But I also agree with you that um, I, when I see performers, especially really, um, guitar players who are, you know, who can play the whole, whole band, yeah. you know, it does nothing but take away, you know, yeah. to me, you know, okay, I get that, that the bass player is good, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, but he's different. Yeah. It's, this is not the origin. This song originated in that person's soul. Yeah. And somehow when you hear it, and this is what you do so beautifully, Dave, is you love every note, <laughs> you know, you love every note. And that is, and so what that makes me and the audience want to do is love every note too, oh. you know? So that, and that, and, and I think that's part of it. Somebody, one of the highest compliments I think I got was from a musician who said, you know, I saw you 20 years ago and you made me listen to every word. Wow. And, yeah. um, and I, I didn't realize necessarily at the time, well, I wasn't conscious of it, but I just know that, you know, I, I think you're like this too, Dave. You know, I'm not a look at me performer. Uh -huh. I'm a listen to this. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so. And, and I think I you, even go one, one remove further back. <laughs> I think I'm not even listening to this. I'm, I'm more like, have you thought about this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's a conversation. It's yeah. a conversation in the song. It's an implied listener because mm -hmm. you're telling the story to someone. Yeah. And, that, and that makes it vastly different. And that, that's what mm. makes it so challenging and um, to how to get that feeling. You know, and I, I literally was feeling that, that, that last song, I was driving home, you know, and I was feeling that the, the rhythm is kind of like the rhythm of the yellow lines going past me, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wow. When you said love every note, I thought of this song.
I'm looking at the paintings in this great museum. The news of one more shooting made me long to cry. I'd love to work for justice and for peace and freedom. But right now I need a refuge that is quiet and dry. So I come to see the beauty when the world is tragic. An umbrella stops the rain but it won't dry the sky. And this play of light and shadow is transcendent magic. And it changes the whole universe, at least inside. In the ocean deep, when these waves are steep, every hope I betrays me it's the beautiful that saves me so I'm walking past these priceless works of famous artists but in between those canvases its cold white wall. These painters found a crucible for their catharsis, but they knew that no rendition could contain it all. I'm fearful of the riptide in the sea of sorrow, and I don't have any faith to make these waters part. And if I venture out there, I would drown a martyr. And it feels so overwhelming I can barely start In the ocean deep When these waves are steep Every hope I keep betrays me It's the Now the woman at the coat check hands me back my raincoat. Stay warm out there, she smiles and looks me in the eye. I take her simple kindness like we're in the same boat. And we all need some protection from the storm outside. We are underneath the cloud of all this dark emotion. But I'll make it through the storm because I've warmed my heart. A wooden hull can rest above a deep, dark ocean. And a window into beauty is a place to start. In the ocean deep, when these waves are steep, every hope I betrays me it's the beautiful that saves me it's the remarkable that the beautiful something exterior to you created by someone else can immediately change you yeah <laughs> can immediately change you and become a part of you yeah 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 changes the the whole day and i like to think that there are some songs that i've heard that just changed me forever you know 
Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, I just, I mean, you just, I, I have to play this song after you play that one. Oh, good. <laughs> Hibiscus has been messing with my tuning pegs. <laughs> <laughs> I saw. <laughs> we are shaking the tree. <laughs> <laughs> I um, I came north from from Richmond, Virginia, where I was born and raised, and I went to college in Williamsburg, Virginia, and um, my journey to Boston was. You know, I didn't know a soul. It was all about becoming a songwriter. And there was no one around me who knew anything about that, so I just had to go find it. And um, but fortunately, I had been assigned a poem in college uh, by W.H. Auden called Musée de Beaux-Arts. And the second stanza started with, in, as in Bruegel's Icarus. And at that point in my life and career as a human, uh, I had no idea who either of those people were. And it was really, really hot in my dormitory. So I remember just putting the book down. I still have the book. I put the book down and I went to the movie theater because it was the only place that was air conditioned, right? So good popcorn, didn't pay attention to the marquee, didn't, know, didn't care what movie I was watching. On the screen comes The Man Who Fell to Earth starring David Bowie, and in it, he literally puts his finger on a print of Bruegel's Icarus. The painting is called uh, Countryside, or Landscape with the Fall of Icarus, and um, it so impressed me. I went and read, you know, I went back, read the poem, I went and saw the painting, the a print of the painting. But it became a layer of who I am because it basically said that, you know, here is this incredible romantic struggle, this flight and this falling into the ocean. And he falls into the ocean on the canvas in the right lower corner. And nobody who is plowing a field or sailing a ship or fishing or doing anything or tending their flock, no one pays any attention whatsoever. And the ship sails on. So that's, that just cued me in to what can happen in a very few words in a poem. The whole universe. This is called Icarus. And the sun came up down an old dirt road saying hello new day hello It shone Like a father's hand Saying my son now You have grown Sun goes up Moon goes down And you knew From the start The measure of all things Is still In a rain wet street, saying, I don't care, I don't care. I'm far too deep in this cold, dark well of things that. Sun goes up, moon goes down, and you knew from the start the measure of all things is still hard. Do 
It is a fascinating thing when we set out on this um, crazy, daring sort of, you know, trusting the heart kind of stuff and, uh, and, and fling our lives into the abyss. <laughs> but for me, it was slightly easier just because in high school, I was so obsessed with, um, you know, how uh, scary nuclear war seemed to me. I, w- I had read way too much. And I, I just kind of thought, well, I'm never going to live, you know, till I'm 25. So I might as well just, you know, <laughs> live fully right now. And uh, so that made it possible for me to fling myself into this, uh, uh, this unlikely impossible craft. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm kind of grateful for that. Um, kind of grateful for that weird, you know, being sort of like flung into life like squeezing a watermelon seed and just like um (laughs) never quite thought of it like that (laughs) yeah um and i remember being haunted by uh your song that was questioning whether being led by the heart is is somehow going to end in misery and pain um like comparing Icarus to the drunk that lies down in the street. I mean, in another song of yours. <laughs> right. right. Come same, on, same weary guy, hobo. By the way. Same guy. <laughs> when you said Rosewood Spinoza, I thought, oh, no. <laughs> because what if this is just some misguided sort of addiction and the guitar is going to lead me to ruin? But it was the same guy, huh? Yeah, it was the same guy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the, I mean, you know, at, at the first time I walked past, you know, I was not from a city like that. Yeah, yeah. And and everybody was walking past this guy lying on the bench, you know, and he was he was his face was red, and there was the the telltale, you know, paper bag next to him with a bottle in it. Mm-hmm. But he was living on the park bench, and um, so it was shocking to me to to be there for the first time and see that. And then and then as um, as time went by, you know, and I had things to do, finally I had to get a job, etc. So I was I was walking past him, you know, and, I, and then that's one day I stopped. That's when this song happened because I realized the same thing was happening with me, however many hundred years mm-hmm. later. Um, but yeah, so but that same thing. I went over to him to talk to him, you know, to see, and he he just, just like you know, is there anything I can do for you, you know, well, you know how silly is that? And it was naive of me, but um, but he, you know. Um, he he just he didn't want to talk to me. Yeah. He just excluded me. So, um, but yeah. So, you know. I, but I, you know, after all the the time of you know running by, and you just wonder who's right. 
<laughs> she just, I mean, isn't he, he's really appreciating, well, the, the, not with the alcohol, but um, stepping out of the rat race. And I, I think in a way, these vehicles were our yeah. way of stepping out of the rat race. Yeah. There is this fascinating, uh, our, our lovely neighbor uh, has a way of looking at all different ways of doing life and seeing them as all having their inherent dignity, as confusing as they may be to others. And right. uh, it is really inspiring and, and bewildering in a good way to, um, to lean into that view, to sort of see through her eyes um, and imagine that, uh, you know, like you said, who's right? <laughs> That's yeah. fascinating. Wow. Yeah. Well, this is what we get to do is we get to address this. Yeah. You know, and, and I think that, that um, it's our job to understand that we're going to ponder this in a room full of people. So we have to include them in our conversation of it, you know. And, and so I think that, that, that changes the way we write because this is a communication. You know, this is a conversation with somebody about, hey, I feel this way, but I'm leaving it open because I'm not sure I'm right. Yeah, yeah. I love that attitude in songs, and I, and I love how you know letting uh, having these parallel stories, you know, having uh, stories that you know take uh, from different times and different places, but basically telling the same story in different layers uh, opens up this. Uh, intriguing kind of gift for the listener where right yeah um that that's that's a big hope for me i mean i you know i'm a very metaphorical writer yeah. and hopefully what that does is it gives people time to take that home and peel back the layers as you were saying yeah you know the idea is that they're there yeah <laughs> this is a uh sort of a comical song um, about um, self-delusion, but constructive (laughs) (laughs) self-delusion. And uh, this is the sort of the story of um, how I uh, um, took the events of my early years and constructed a story that was not just a circular victim s- story, but, you know, sort of had an arc to it and uh, had a future. And uh, <laughs> it's, uh, I, uh, the song is set as if uh, there was a plane crash. Love this and, song. Love this song. <laughs> and I was the only one who walked away. Because <laughs> I kind of feel that way. I kind of survived my family. <laughs> So, Greg, I just have to tell you, along the lines of, like, the uh, reference song for tempo. Take a load off, Annie. (laughs) That's how I get my tempo. I'm trusting Levon. Anyway. I was the lone survivor when we landed. Full investigation never was revealed. The hurt got covered over, never really healed. The scars are on the inside, the evidence was sealed. But the way I tell the story, I had just brushed off the dirt. I landed in a haystack. Barely tore my shirt. What good would it do me? Just replay the past. Accidents will happen. This one happened fast. I will look to where I'm going instead of where I've been. I won't deny my history, but I'll give it quite a spin. So the way I tell the story I just brushed off the dirt 
I landed in a haystack, barely tore my shirt. Since I'm the only witness, then the story's up to me. If no one else has lived to tell, no one can disagree. Crawling from the wreckage, my childhood up in flames. Swirling down the spiral of alcohol and shame. But the way I tell the story, I just brushed off the dirt. I landed in a haystack, barely tore my shirt. Since I'm the only witness, well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll make a hero's journey of the shit that I've been through. I saw the blaze, turned around and ran before it blew. You can say I crashed and burned, but I can say I flew. I flew. great way to put that <laughs> that is like the best possible spin <laughs> wow that's great well that leads me to a song speaking of families This I wrote sitting on my mom's front porch on an absolutely perfect southern day, 80 degrees in October, you know, when the humidity finally goes away. I know it's different in your rainforest there in Asheville. <laughs> you and all the Californians moving in for the water. <laughs> yep. But in Richmond, um, there's just a couple of weeks where it just becomes absolutely beautiful. And you forget about those days, you know, when you go north and you live in Boston, a place like that. And I lived in an apartment, you know, with my window view was a wall. <laughs> um, and then you come back and it just rises up out of your bones. But the reason I was coming home was not a good one. So this is called Trouble. Trouble. I see you coming like to stay out of your Oh, 
It's a long way to Richmond, Virginia. It's been a long time since I've been strange. Something so far from the present can rise right through your skin. When you hide from yourself, you get lost in the look at your life is an endless maze. Trouble. I see you coming, gonna rise up over you someday. That's right, gonna rise up over you. put it right in your voice that was so nice wow oh mm. that's fascinating the the uh, the stretch in that song from bottom to top and um i'm uh i've always been amazed at your bravery to use the whole <laughs> dynamic range you know uh and just absolutely you know when the song calls for it, put your full voice behind it. It's really powerful. <laughs> wow. It just feels, I mean, it, you know, yeah. it's just, it feels wonderful to do that, especially, yeah. you know, when you have, when you feel powerless. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, when you feel yeah. powerless, those words. Um, we were talking about this before, but I think it was at um, Kerrville Song School where I heard someone say that, um, you know, when you convince the audience that you're most emotional, you can. That's when you can be the simplest. Uh -huh. And so, so in that song, it's like, you know, okay, I've convinced you that this sucks. So, but but the the thing of it is, is that I'm still gonna get. I'm gonna win. You know, yeah. I'm gonna fight yeah. this. Yeah. You know, rise up, rise up, rise up. And that's yeah. just the epitome of hope, right there. Do I know where it's coming from? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I had a dream that to me felt like watching a movie uh and in the dream um uh i was playing a show where all the talk between songs was me discovering from my songs who i might be because the way it showed up in the dream, um, I just kind of like woke up somewhere, didn't know where I was, walked outside, didn't know what city I was in. The first building I come to, I just go inside to see, you know, uh, I, I forget why I walked inside. But anyway, somebody says, hey, are you David Wilcox? I said, who's David Wilcox? <laughs> and, and uh, oh, I remember now. Uh the store I, I walked into happened to be a music store. And so the guy, you know, knew some music. And, and so uh, he said, you know, and so he hands me a guitar and I'm amazed to discover that I can play. So then <laughs> little by little, I discover that there's all these songs that I know somehow. And I don't know, like, maybe I wrote them, maybe I found them. Uh, and, <laughs> but it's like the, the, the born movies, you know, where I'm just trying to figure right. out who I am. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and I love when a song shows up and you're thinking, now I've been given this to sing this. I'm going to sing it until I know why. 
<laughs> and sometimes it's really surprising because I think, you know, a, this song is definitely not me. And then some layer of it, some just kicks my ass one day and I'm thinking, oh. <laughs> oh. Here's uh, interesting. <laughs> Oh man, it's fascinating. Uh, this song, I'm kind of commemorating a friend that I met at Kerrville, an amazing guitar player, Chuck Pyle. I'm playing kind of with a Chuck Pyle kind of a gallop. And he has all these mystical songs about the Southwest. And so this is a song just about being in the present moment, but uh, I set it as uh, this moment where when I'm riding south and the sun is setting, the shadow of me and my motorcycle stretches out across the road. And I go ahead and I look off to my side and I see that I'm not out ahead of myself like I usually am. And I'm not reminiscing shadow meets the very point where my wheels are and so it's just a, a, a wake up a, sort of a embodied kind of a bliss I rode out to the desert on sanctuary land four lanes down to two lanes one lane down to sand When I'm lost, I'm found here The sunset at my side Just to keep up with my shadow Is the reason why I ride <laughs> You recognize the Chuck Pyle change right there. <laughs> I love that part. It's just saying thank you for that, Chuck. <laughs> White lines to the horizon and a million miles behind. But just one point to touch here, a moment in my mind. I see a blur of changes as the wheel of time unwinds. But the center has that still point I'm traveling to find Some ride to seek their fortune I found the mother load Shining golden sunlight Streams across the road When I'm lost, I'm found here The sunset at my side Just to keep up with my shadow Is the reason why I ride <laughs> What a great idea. <laughs> That's a phenomenal idea. Wow. Ah. The idea came when I was bicycling, but I thought it would sound better as a motorcycle song. <laughs> All right. Uh, are you okay with me doing a piano song? Yeah, man. Okay. Da, da. So I took, I took the Dave approach of, of getting more in the picture. Uh, usually I'm a little bit further away so you can see me play. 
You just have to trust me. There's a piano here. <laughs> it's a keyboard. So I'm kind of, uh, I don't know. It's a little bit disconnected. But um, that sound volume-wise okay, Dave? I think it, the piano may be a little soft, but I'll give you this signal if it's too low. I'll give you the... All that right, sounds good. All right. Yeah, that sounds all good. Right. All right. Um, this is uh, kind of in the same the same idea. This is called "Can't Get Out of My Own Way." Oh, I love this song. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just it's just so it's just so yeah. the story. <laughs> yeah. But um, you know, we're all wrapped up around our families, and um, and the idea. I love the idea of waking up and not having a clue who you are, and somebody hands you a guitar. Sometimes it feels like that without having gone to sleep. But all right, okay. I've been in first place. I've been in last place. I've been the worst case. I've been the whole parade. I've been my own best friend. There have been days when I couldn't get out of my own way. You gotta get out of your own way. When you were a dark room, I was just a dim light, a stumbling in the night to find a way. When I finally understood. I saved the only one I could I couldn't get out of my own way You gotta get out of your own Like my father did, I love like my mother did. What you did or you didn't get, that's just a tale you chase. It's like my grandmother said, don't blame it on us, kid. You just gotta get out of your own way. You gotta get This one, oh man, this is an interesting song. <sighs> Ooh, love this. <laughs> that sounds great. song and uh, there was an interruption his wife came into the room kind of holding her hand over the phone and said it's 
and he went, oh, I got to take this. And he went out and talked for a while, and he came back, and he said, okay, where were we? And I said, oh, what was that? And he said, oh, man, that's just uh, this friend of mine who's really uh, probably out on a bender again, and I, I, she's calling me, asking if I know where he is. And, and I, I just feel like I'm just... I, I'm in such a bind because I, I know that helping him doesn't help him. But anyway, let's get back to the song, he says. And I said, ah, oh, I think that is the song. And he said, oh, no. I said, yeah, we got to write that. And he said, okay. I'm tired of all the jagged edges that cut me every time you fall. Of your life come down around you. I'm tired of all the worried voices crying when they call, as if I'll know where to look when no one's found you. Are you sailing right along? what you're thinking I've been bailing you out so long you don't even know you're sinking and I'm guilty guilty either way wrong to try to fix you wrong to turn dirty little song that's great <laughs> <laughs> i mean the guitar part's a dirty little thing yeah, yeah. I get oh you. that's just insidious that's <laughs> wonderful that's great <laughs> mm. man that sounds good Whew. thanks all right um i think this is a song that i played for you yeah yeah i played this for you uh, when you stopped in, uh, I think the first time, because I had just written this because my wife and I had just gotten married. So I wrote this song for her um, to play, you know, and, and the, I mean, we, we did a really smart thing is we, uh, we, we bought the venue where the wedding was going to be. <laughs> it's no worrying about renting a place or anything. We bought a house and we got married right over there. And uh, and I played the song right over there, so. Um, but um, let's just say that it's not our first time 
And I think there's a good 50% of the audience out there who can relate to this, that we've had not successful relationships in the beginning, but now this one feels fantastically right. And so this is called Saving the Best for Last. Mm. So as you can imagine, when people are sitting around at a wedding, they don't expect to hear you say, I've made my mistakes. My mistakes have made me. But now I make my steps carefully. You got your story. I've surely got mine. Between the two of us, we've done our time. But Saving the best for last A prince and a pauper You know who I am You've got the heart of a lion The soul of a lamb Now we both come so far, but never so near. Oh, I get the feeling we've never been here. Saving the best for last You did not want to dance with me You did not want to kiss me You did not want me to stay This yes has come a long way This is our moment This is our day You make forever So easy to say But love has a way of A way of erasing the past Saving the best for last But love has a way of A way of erasing the past Oh, love, look at us now Saving the best for last Saving the best for last Saving So well written. Wow. <laughs> wow. It's such a beautiful thing when you find that awesome line, but you don't spend it in the first verse. You just wait, wait, wait. That goes at the end of the chorus. <laughs> and I love how you put that together. And by the time you got us there, it was just so perfectly set. Oh, man. Really nice. 
Thank you. Wow. You know, no, no pressure on your wedding, you know. <laughs> I mean, nobody, she heard it once. Oh, wow. Yeah. I, I actually told, you know, she, I, you know, she came home and I was like the, the cat that ate the bird, you know, and I'm uh-huh. sitting there and I'm sitting there and I really kind of wanted to just do it in the wedding. And she was, she had enough faith in me to just go ahead and do that. And then I said, no, that's, that's not fair. So I played it for her one time before and she loved it. So, um, but it's funny because it was just family, right? And so when, uh, you know, she has a son that she had to fight it out with, you know, oh, yeah. he's just a great kid, but they had their, they had their battles, you know? So when I said, you got the heart of a lion, the soul of a lamb, he just started laughing. <laughs> so it was really just, you know, a family thing. It was, but it was wonderful. Nice. I think I'm doing that rookie thing where I find the string that's flat and I tune everything to that. (laughs) Yeah, that's what happened. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you got one more song after this, but this is my last song. And, uh... And uh, this is the most fascinating story to me. I love um, sort of what this does to my soul because it's about being asked to listen in a way that's bigger than just one human personality. Imagine you're walking across a street in New York City and there's a phone Right there in the crosswalk, it has not been run over yet. So you pick it up and you say, hey, there's a phone here. Who dropped the phone? Nobody. So you figure, well, eventually someone will call. You can ask them who to send it to and you can return it. Put it in your back pocket. But a day goes by. You charge the phone up. Go out the next day with the phone in your pocket. Finally, it rings. You say, hello. And there's a weird pause. And a woman's voice says, I just had to call his number one more time. Who are you? And you say, I I just found the phone. I'm happy to return it. Just need to know where to send it. And she says, well, he, he won't be needing it. But do you have a minute? Me? Uh, yeah, what? Well, I mean, I know you're not him, but you know, it, it, it's his number, and I just, there's things I need to say. So what would you do with that? You know, you'd probably just stop walking, maybe even lean back against one of those buildings in New York, because you need some backup with a question like that, you know? <laughs> Leaning against the skyscraper, now that's something that, that's the antenna that you would need, right, to answer that kind of question. And, you know, you listen, and you just say a few things, like, I hear you. It's weird, but um, she still had no place for me to send the phone, so what do you do? She told his family, and they called, too. I answer to a name that's not my own. My hello is always warm and tender. A month ago, I found a dead man's phone. I'm standing in for someone they remember. I talk to his old friends who still will call. Their small talk always leads to bigger wondering. 
I hear what goes unspoken in them all As underneath the city sidewalk there's the rumbling His lover tells me memories they made She recalls the first time that she kissed him Eventually his phone bill won't be paid But for now I take the calls from those who miss him I hear the tears inside a voice that's old He sighs and says he's grateful to be talking I answer that the night does not feel cold And he asks me to describe where I am walking I say the fragrance is spectacularly sweet There's a bakery right here on 37th The smell of bread and pastries fills the street And I feel like I'm the eyes and ears of heaven Midnight, New Year's Eve above Times Square Moving toward the light that makes the night glow It's raining down confetti in my hair And the street looks like I'm standing on a rain seconds on the clock Is he asking for forgiveness or redemption The call ends as the ball begins to drop And the phone just goes on searching for reception So this is the end of our conversation coming up here? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> well, I have to thank you for thinking this up and inviting me to do this. This has My just been a pleasure. joy and a pleasure. Yeah, man, this is great. This is this is almost like it's almost as good as when you when you come visit. You know, almost as good. Yeah. But um um except we can't you. go walk on the railroad tracks. Right. And exactly. go down to that beautiful lunch place. Yeah. And hear yeah. stories about your dad and the railroad. Yeah. 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 Well, we'll do that again. Okay. We'll do that again. Um, but thank you. And um, can I just put in a plug? Can I just say that oh, my yeah. website is, is greggreenway.com? Yes, greggreenway.com. And davidwilcox.com, <laughs> too. Yeah. It's good to do yes. that. We should do that. Yeah. <laughs> After an hour and a half. Just in case people stumble across this and say, who are these people? <laughs> <laughs> well, um, I just so appreciate what you put into what you do. Hmm. It is just so obvious that you put 100% of your soul into this, and it just it so shows in your music. But it's just it's just fantastic to see. So I thank you for that, and it's it's nice to be on the same screen as that. <laughs> Wouldn't it be fun so, if we put on our bios, you know, I've shared the screen with 
Greg Greenway. <laughs> 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 yeah, the extension of that is beautiful. Uh, wow. Um, a lot of what is has become me is is where I came from. I came from Southside, Richmond, Virginia, and um, uh, at a time when uh, the, the school systems were first being integrated, and I was a basketball player in my day. Uh, this music thing was just a fallback. Yeah. Uh, had I been able to jump, run, or shoot. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I fooled enough people to play for a pretty long time, but um, but um, I got to cross lines, racial lines in Richmond, and um, it just became a part of who I am. And so the civil rights movement has a lot of move, uh, meaning to me. I'm also part of something called Deeper Than the Skin with my friend Reggie Harris, and we talk about race. But this song comes from my studies of Martin Luther King. He was saying that he had was that um, hate is too heavy a burden to carry. And very often that people who hate don't think about what it's doing to them. This is called Jericho Road. At the edge of Jericho Road Beneath the street lights, yellow orange glow The feared and the fallen go In the way a predator you Craig wow that's inspiring playing music with you oh thanks. man right back at you and thanks to everybody who joined in and uh um it is really fun for me to be back at this and uh I I um I, I at first it was stressful you know like trying to make all this work 
<laughs> but um, I discovered that I missed it. And uh, I, I'm really grateful for you, Greg, to uh, have this um, musical conversation. And uh, um, thank you. Thank you, Dave. What a <sighs> pleasure. All right. I'm going to sign off. I'm going to go to my Facebook live stream and hit end stream. I got to do that too. All right. End live video. Yes. All right. And now I go here. End stream.